Machinery Service and Design is a leading manufacturer of innovative and cost-effective hydraulic disassembly and repair equipment. We offer a full line of equipment, tools, and accessories that make it easy to disassemble, remanufacture, and reassemble hydraulic cylinders. The unit shown in this video is a custom 38-foot bench with a 4-inch by 11-foot stroke cylinder pull-apart assist and is based on the company's standard disassembly unit. It is also available as a 26.5-foot version, developed for cylinders to 30 inches in diameter or heavy construction and mining cylinders. The purpose of the hydraulic assist cylinder is to provide the necessary force to pull hydraulic cylinders apart, as well as to reassemble them easily and safely. In addition to the cylinder assist, a heavy-duty adjustable set of V-block support plates is provided to safely secure and support the cylinder rod during pull-apart and assembly process. The bench is operated the same as our standard disassembly bench, with addition of a three-spool directional valve to operate the cylinder assist. Please view the video for the standard unit to learn about relevant operating information and related accessories. The table is designed to be bolted to the floor. The table legs are drilled for 1-inch mounting bolts. Please be sure that the table is firmly mounted before using it. We suggest Ultrabond by U.S. Anchor Company or any equivalent system to attach the 1-inch mounting bolts to the floor. The frame is designed to provide maximum rigidity, but machinery service and design cannot be held responsible for damages to the frame if the machine is operated without being attached to the floor. Use 1 inch, grade 8, 8 threads per inch rods, cut to a 12 and a half inch length. You will need one rod per hole on the disassembly table. Drill a 1 inch diameter hole in the concrete to 12 and a half inches deep. Apply epoxy ultrabond to the thread of the thread rod and be sure to fill any voids in the concrete. Allow 24 hours for the epoxy glue to cure. High torque nuts and cylinder heads can be removed and assembled with the nut buster and a brace tool. Check the section on brace tool or nut buster for the proper operation of these components. The V-block roller plate is designed to support the cylinder shaft during removal and installation of the hydraulic cylinder shaft. The V-block roller plate is supplied with a set of adjustable cylinder supports. The supports are supplied with a black nylon pad bolted to the steel support to prevent any damage to the steel shaft or the chrome plating. The V-block roller plate is drilled and tapped to allow the user to adjust the supports to contact the cylinder shaft surface. In some cases, the operator will have to move two bolts to reach the correct adjustment on the supports. The heavy-duty bench is available with a 4-inch bore by 11-foot stroke hydraulic cylinder that is used to provide hydraulic power to pull hydraulic cylinders apart and to reassemble. The cylinder assist is attached to the cylinder brace tool. This brace tool is equipped with UHMW bearings on the top, side, and bottom surfaces. Adjustment screws are installed to allow for adjustment of the UHMW bearing. To adjust the UHMW side bearings, get a 7 seconds of an inch diameter roll pin punch and a quarter inch Allen wrench. Insert the 7 seconds of an inch diameter punch into one of the holes of the loose nut. Turn the nut counterclockwise to loosen. Insert the quarter inch Allen wrench into the adjustment screw and turn clockwise. Do not over tighten the screws. Turn the adjustment screw and apply a light pressure to the screw and re-tighten the lock nut. Do this same procedure to all adjusters on both sides. The bottom bearing should have a 3 100 inch clearance from the steel rail to the UHMW bearing. To adjust the clearance on this bearing, remove the 1 inch 8 bolts and remove the white UHMW bearing pad. You can install a thin shim under the UHMW bearing pad or machine the thickness of the bottom L bracket to obtain the 3 100 of an inch clearance. The hydraulic cylinder assist is a 4-inch bore hydraulic cylinder with 11.5 feet of stroke. 
This cylinder will generate 37,698 pounds of push at 3,000 PSI and 22,974 pounds of pull at 3,000 PSI for assembly. Always start with the main relief valve at the lowest setting and build pressure as needed. The assist cylinder is attached to the push-pull plate. The plate is provided with two vertical brace supports. The brace supports are adjustable with 1-inch T-nuts. Loosen the socket head cap screws to move the vertical brace tool. To use this brace tool, the operator will set the hydraulic cylinder into the triple row chain vise and allow the rod end to extend to the brace tool. When using the triple row chain vise, be sure to use two locking pins, one pin per rail, to square and center the chain vise to the disassembly machine. After the vise is square, secure the vise to the table with the L brackets. This will also act as a guide for setting the adjustable cylinder supports on the roller plate. The heavy duty chain vise is supplied with 10 feet of standard number 60 triple row chain and a three finger lock. This finger lock is used to adjust for excess chain. Only use as much chain that is needed to secure the cylinder into the chain vise. If there is too much chain on the tension side of the vise, there will be a problem with putting the chain under the tension sprocket. Always use the tension strap to keep the chain engaged in the tension sprocket. The pressure booster is an air-operated pump with pilot-operated checks. The booster takes hydraulic oil from the system reservoir and will boost pressure to 5,000 PSI. The pump and manifold are mounted on a steel plate that is mounted on one of the cross members of the machine frame. The steel plate also has a pressure relief valve to limit the pressure that the booster will generate. The air pump requires approximately 100 to 150 PSI of air pressure. There is an air valve mounted to the control panel with a red ball on the handle. To operate the pressure booster, attach an air line to the quick disconnect coupler. Use the cylinder test spool to pressurize the test cylinder to 3000 PSI. Then push the red ball forward to activate the air pump. It will only take a few pumps of the booster to take the static pressure to 5000 PSI. Use the cylinder test spool to release the pressure on the A port. Then shift the spool to the B port and push the red ball to boost pressure to 5000 PSI. Use the test pressure bleed down to relieve any pressure trapped in the test lines and PO checks. The relief valve will only reach 6,000 PSI. This concludes the presentation of the extra features offered on Machinery Service and Design's Heavy Duty Disassembly Table. For further information, remember to review the video for the standard unit or contact Machinery Service and Design at sales at ms-d.com or call 262-513-8040.